Hi, I'm Chef Stu Pap Rocky, and this is Quick Meals with me, Stu Pap Rocky. Welcome back to my regular kitchen. I have some great news. My girlfriend is back behind the camera doing her thing. That's right, Taste Buds. She's no longer a suspect in the Backwards Hat Chef's murder. If you watched my last episode, Funeral Potatoes, you're probably thinking that I cracked the case wide open and Mitch killed her, right? Wrong. According to the police, the Backwards Hat Chef had been meeting unsavory characters through social media ever since she appeared on the Pigs in a Blanket episode. I only posted the Pigs in a Blanket episode to try and help her career. Turns out, somebody posing as a Hollywood agent reached out to her. The police believe that imposter killed her, but I feel that she's dead because of me. As you know, I was recently cuckolded. Emotionally, that's been a slow burn. I don't feel like much of a man these days, but uh, nothing makes me feel more like a man than eating some cow. I desperately feel like feeling like a man. And that's why today's Quick Meals recipe is meatloaf. After my dad left, my mom took a job waiting tables at Ritter's Diner in Pittsburgh. During her shift, she'd pocket as many saltine crackers as she could get her grubby mitts on. When she saved enough saltines, she'd make meatloaf. She taught me the basics and would force me to make it for her and her boyfriends. Fortunately, while she was in the back room entertaining, I was able to experiment in the kitchen, and I eventually came up with this recipe. Here's what you're gonna need. Do yourself a favor and get your meat out of the fridge about 30 minutes beforehand. We'll be mixing this with our hands, and fridge fresh meat can be unbearably cold on the fingies. You're going to make your glaze first. As you can see, I've already added all my glaze ingredients together. Now it's time to mix them up real good. Chances are Mitch is not a serial killer driven to insanity by honey consumption. I apologize to his family and orthodontic partners for these wild and wildly public accusations. I don't apologize to Mitch. Fans of this show will know that he copulated with my girlfriend right here in this very kitchen. I'd say that rascal and I are even. You might have some other questions about the Funeral Potatoes episode. The answers are no, no, and yes. No, I still haven't heard from Kyle. No, those were not the cheesiest tubers I've ever had. And yes, Brooks is a pederast. Now that we have that out of the way, crack your egg into a bowl. Then beat it, beat it bad. Beat it like it's your landlord who still hasn't fixed your apartment building security gate after a fine tenant was murdered. As you can see, I've added our beaten egg and crushed crackers, about 15, and the rest of our loaf ingredients into this large mixing bowl. I hope this meatloaf gets me back to the top of the sexual food chain. Then you're going to line your loaf pan with some glaze, and then gently plop in your meat and cover the top with some more of that delicious glaze. You're going to put your meatloaf into a 375 degree oven for 45 to 60 minutes. Personally, I like my meatloaf a little more on the rare side, so I'll take mine out after 30 minutes. Ten minutes into cooking, you're going to want to open the oven up and lather on half of your remaining glaze. Ten minutes before your loaf is done, you're going to want to spread the rest of your glaze all over that good stuff. It's about high time we got our meatloaf out of the oven. Another bird probably hit the window. Oh, Jesus, Mary and Joseph. It's honey. It's honey. 
taste buds, unless that was someone playing a joke on me, and that is highly possible, I think Mitch might, I, mean, I don't even want to know what Mitch might do. I've locked our doors and called the police. Before serving your meatloaf, you're going to want to drain off all the fat into the proper receptacle. My landlord has told me on numerous occasions that this building's old galvanized water pipes can't handle lipids being poured down them. Yeah, get a load of those lipids dripping all over those old galvanized pipes. Another quick and delicious meal, sure, to make your taste buds pap. Check back with us next week for another video. And you know what? I don't need the cops. A real man would protect his hive and his queen by himself. And guess what, taste buds? I feel like a man.